okay y'all listen i said i was gonna go but i said well why since i already got this up and i did a haul why don't i do my first unhaul of 2022 <laughs> 2022 and here's the bag okay second in charles which is a bookstore i started going to back last spring and i love that place i love used bookstores and libraries because they have old old older titles in numbered and record numbers and you can always discover something and that's the thing i love is i love discovering stuff so these are the book that I, books that i'm going to be hauling hopefully this week and i'm going to start it here first the first one is bath house by pj vernon I tried to read this book. I bought it when it first came out over the summer. I tried to read this book four different times and I could never get past the voice. Absolutely not. It has to do with two, a gay couple. Um, they have some tumultuous, acrimonious little situation with one another. Um, one decides to go to this bathhouse to, I don't know, seek solace for their troubled relationship. He ends up going into the steam room and being choked to death almost asphyxiated by another individual before he escapes and then the trouble is whether or not he sh should reveal what happened to himself to expose himself as a cheater meanwhile i believe the supposed assailant is after him still in a thriller cat and mouse fashion i guess the point still remains is that i could not get past the voice of this character it just had a very shallow feel to it you know, I went to the room, I opened up the closet, I got my favorite robe out. How I just I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. The drama, the melodrama of the whole situation, I absolutely could not do it. And it just it went it was not gonna work. It wasn't gonna work. And then the next book that I'm getting rid of is Public Secrets by Nora Roberts. Uh just I tried to read this a few years ago. I tried it again. It just never works. I I, I all I can do is read the, the JD Raw books. I, I don't know why I keep beating myself over the head thinking differently. All I can really read is the J.D. Raw books. As many times as I try to read Noah Roberts and just never works. I just feel like they're just, they're just way too predictable. Um, you can see everything coming miles and miles and miles and miles and miles away. The thing that made me want to read this book was it was going to be a, a it was going to chronicle a girl whose father is a rock star and how she was removed from her abusive mother and placed into this rich extravagant wealthy landscape which i.e her father's estate and you know there's a lot of drugs and alcohol and of course there's some romance involved but it just it just was so predictable that i, I couldn't it just i just it's just like after 50 or 100 or so pages i was just like i'd rather watch it as a tv show if ever the next couple of books are books that you guys are going to hate me for and probably give me some some thumbs downs but y'all know i just i don't have time to be playing last attack games with with people on youtube okay um the first book was or the one book is actually the house in cerulean sea in the cerulean sea by tj clune which is a very high popular book that's been circulating for some years now um it has to do with this man who works inside a, well it's an alternate universe world of some sort but it has to do with this guy who works he is i don't know what the right word is it i don't want to say beta male but he's he's a little he's just like a shy kind of character who works in this establishment in this indu industrial establishment that takes care of children with abilities but frankly they're children who are sort of like the offsprings or off seeds of mythical figures like medusa one child may be medusa it's medusa but it's it's a child version of medusa but he took girl he takes care of these kids in like this whole establishment thing i don't know what the right word is but um you know he's a gay character who is seeking home seeking family trying to remove you know get away from his loneliness and so he's set out on this particular errand or assignment where he goes to this place by the sea that's isolated and is filled with the most dangerous types of children characters that are replicas of mythical figures in childlike form including the devil and so he falls in love with the headmaster in this establishment or the the homeowner or whatever in this establishment and i you know the thing that just i i it was just too soft boiled eggs for me it was just way too i needed conflict basically i needed conflict and um 
the story is supposed to be a feel good magical story and i'm not a feel good magical story type of person at all like i need some mayhem and mischief and of the most severe kind and child and then the creep and it's just like i just know what i just know what what what, what he what the author was trying to, to tell me i don't yeah i just okay and the next two books are some more books that people are gonna give me some down down <laughs> some down thumbs downs for and that is the next two books in the mistborn trilogy which is the second book is the will of ascension and the third one is the hero of ages um, I liked the first Miss Warren book well enough, and then I tried to start getting into the second book, and, um, yeah, when the main character starts sitting in the lap of her love interest, I'm not interested. Mm -mm. No, no ma'am. No ma'am. I would have enjoyed these books much more if the love interest, the love romance part did wasn't so heavy-handed. It just, like, once she crawled onto his lap, I was just like, oh, no, uh-uh, no, ma'am. We're not going to be doing, the girl's not going to be crawling in, in men's laps and stuff. Like, girl, you got all these magical, fantastic abilities to go do all this cool stuff, and you crawling in this man's laps trying to seek a home. And I, I don't want to read about that. Like, I'm not interested. I want to go, I want her, she can be in love, but I want her to go out there and kick some tail, too. Like, let's kick some tail. I don't want to be seen. No. Next one is The Summer Dragon, the first book in the Ever Tide by Todd Lockwood. Um, didn't like the voice of the main character. Just didn't like it. Mm -mm, too angsty. Too, 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 too angsty for me. I just couldn't get into it. Mm -mm. I'm not really a fan of dragon stories anyway, but I wanted to give this a shot per my reading of The Wheel of Time. And I was like, well, it's the main protagonist who's a female or who's a woman. So maybe this would be an interesting little stuff thing to get into. And mm -mm, just couldn't deal with the voice. The voice was too angsty, too teenagey, angsty. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. When you are storming out, when you are throwing a tantrum and storming out the room and stuff, I can't do it. I'm too old. Y'all, I'm too, I'm too old. I can't do it. I can't do it. And the last book is actually The Sleeping Doll by Jeffrey Deaver. I've wanted to read this book since 2006, something like that. Something really long time. And I finally found this little copy that it just kind of reminded me that i want to read this book but it's a thriller it's the first book in his catherine dance series catherine dance is a uh criminal profiler of some sort wait a minute she's something hold on she's a uh, special agent cat agent catherine dance a brilliant interrogator and kinesis expert with the california bureau of investigation um i think one i think the book hey I really have a hard time with serial killer books when it's really just thrills and thrills and thrills on top of thrills. Like I need a little bit of more substance to it. You know what I mean? Like there just has to be something else. Like I don't, the, the serial killer books, the cat and mouse chasing, you know, that's why I like mysteries. Cause I like that slow burning unfolding of the pathology of, of the criminal and not so much well we know that this is some evil guy who's done a lot of evil things and he's broken out of prison and now we got to go chase his ass all over los angeles and these thrills and thrills and thrills and spills spaces of redundancy and predictability that's that's kind of it that's that's what it is right there right there i hope i made that quick enough but those are the books that i am going to be sending to second and charles hopefully this weekend i don't know hopefully i'll walk in there and, and walk out with just one book i don't want a whole bunch of it just one and um yeah just I, I just can't do it that's the only thing i can say i just can't do it i tried i tried and tried and tried but i just i just can't do it and my spirit be telling me true when i'm reading the book my spirit be telling me troy let it go it ain't gonna work you too old <laughs> you too old to be going to do this let it go but anyway you read any of these books and have another opinion i do welcome them um like i said i didn't read them completely so i mean i i don't know the difference in whether or not they'll get better or not and the point is that i'm not interested at this point unfortunately very much unfortunately but i just can't do it um if you've unhauled some books that you just couldn't get into let me know if you can relate let me know it is what it is there's a whole bunch of shells 
right here but i still gotta get through anyway so that just hooks me out but i'm out of here peace i gotta go i'm gonna go read a book maybe a cup of tea and read a book child